Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pleaka Podcast. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. I wanted to make sure we introduce ourselves this time because we haven't been introducing ourselves. But this is part three of the Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow crossover. And I really like this episode of Arrow. Did you? It was really cool. Be- like I, I'm assuming I liked it more than you and Taylor did. Taylor said she enjoyed it, but because uh, it's Arrow's 100th episode, so like there was a lot of references. Like that rock in the beginning... That yeah. he hands it to her, and he's like, oh, my sister just gave me a rock. Like, everything she said, he says that exact same thing to her in season, like, I think it's season one, and he gives her the rock, because it's from the island. Oh. Uh, so there's, like, little Yeah, thing. I don't think there's a lot in this episode that I got. When there wasn't that many references, but there was a lot of, like, little things like that. Like, yeah, but like, like Deathstroke arrow fighting him, that's because Deathstroke was his enemy. D- yeah. Diggle being arrow instead, that was kind of cool. It was funny, because Deathstroke was there twice. Well, because cause those things weren't real, so they kept disappearing. Yeah. <laughs> like, obviously they weren't real, because he had a sword, and they were beating him up. Yeah, and because, well, like, five minutes ago, Sarah stabbed him through the stomach, and then he came back. Yeah. But it it was cool, because it was a lot like Westworld. It, like, it, it, was, it was a little like, like, I, like it. Like I expected was... when they saw um, Smoke Industries, the building, to, th- for think... Arrow to go, looks like nothing to me. <laughs> I, I think Arrow's a host. That's, I was thinking, if Hess watched this episode, he'd be like, oh, am I watching the show? It's like, Westworld, it's, everybody's a host. Everybody's not real. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of, it, at first, I was kind of thinking, like, oh, this is going to be kind of like the filler of the crossover. and it, But, like, See, but not it, really filler, but, like, more because this is a special episode for Arrow because it's the 100th one. Right. So focus more on that. But then, it act, like, it, if you think about it, it makes, like, if, it, if you think about all this as a movie, it makes sense, like, they attacked him. They got captured. This is the story in the middle. The aliens are still kind of fucking with them. Yeah. And then there was more. There, it was. There's still, th- there's still more, and then they'll. I, I think this is the episode that I, I actually noticed that it was a little bit longer, like there, like. Oh really? A little bit because it, didn't. it seemed like it was ending when they left. Like that's how long the episode should have been. But then there was the extra bit with, up with the le- on the Legends of Tomorrow ship. I think. Oh. It, 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 like it seemed like. Like see, I didn't know who that guy was. That that grabbed him at the end. Oh, that that steel. That's the new guy in Legends. Oh, he was, he was kind of funny. Yeah, he's really cool. I like too when um, Brendan Routh or Adam, um, he was he was saying that with the dominator to say, and after he's been talking, he's like whatever he says, and then Speedy goes oh, kazoon tight. Yeah, that was funny. There was a lot of like little jabs like that too. Yeah, um, I I didn't obviously like it as much as the Flash episode. Yeah, but it was kind. Of, it but was, it was because I didn't know. I mean, it was almost like Arrow's Flashpoint kind of. Yeah, a little bit. Because like, he got to go back and all that. Yeah. It was cool. It's funny is at the end, you know, they show... He didn't like, save his mom, though. They showed, like, the hologram of all those people. I think two of them weren't really there. Um, The guy, Tommy, he wasn't there. Do you remember who it was? If I said Colton Haynes, would you know who that was? No. Oh, that was Red Arrow previously on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, He was there, but you can kind of tell their faces weren't, like, exactly correct on there. Like, oh, they had right. a stand in and they CGI'd it on there or whatever. I didn't really know But what's funny, you know, you know that guy that was talking to Speedy? In the episode, that's Malcolm Merlin. He was also fighting Jesus yeah, 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 yeah. and all that. Yeah. Um, and he's talking about Tommy. That's his son. He's like, yeah, Chicago's not that close. And he's like a doctor and all this stuff. He's on Chicago PD or a Chicago MD, whatever the show's called, uh, as a doctor. So uh, that was like a little joke. reference to yeah, him. Yeah, I got you. Um, I actually didn't expect that Arrow's team to not, well, not in his team, but uh, Wild Dog not to like um, Supergirl at first. Oh, is that that guy's name with the hockey mask? Yeah. Yeah, he was kind of a douche. Um, it's weird because there's sometimes... They came across as... Like the, the, the black dude, the m- techie m- guy? M- Mr. Terrific, yeah. Yeah, he seemed cool. And then the other guy hardly said anything. And then that guy was, seemed like a dick. But that's, that's just that's, my first that, instruction. That, that's, that's the first time I... That's basically how Arrow goes. There's That guy's funny. Uh, Rory, he's he's all right. Like, he doesn't do much, really, except for when he's in the Ragman alpha, which is... His Ragman's alpha is pretty cool. That's his character's name. Uh, but because do you remember he looked like a poor arrow <clears throat> he's, he's actually different a little bit oh, when really? he's in okay. it you remember last season i told you that they ended up nuking that city and killed a bunch of people no oh that happens last season he he lived in that city it was all, all his people that killed which is like felicity redirected the nuke and ended up killing all them but uh, he has like those rags he wears it absorbs <clears throat> it absorbs the people's like souls and stuff okay. but like but like strings come out of it like it like this suit's kind of almost like you know in um Doctor Strange, his thing's kind of alive. Yeah, his thing's kind of like that, and like it, uh, it'll block okay. bullets and shit like that. So he he, he doesn't use an arrow; just uses that suit and stuff. Uh, okay. Which I was wondering if he's going to use that, but I'm assuming like we'll see everybody's full powers in the Legends of Tomorrow, the finale. Yeah, part. I'm hoping there's more action in the. I, I think last. I think the finale will be because like yeah. it seems like the only action they've shown is them like all running on that like it looks almost like the same scene from Civil War, 
that yeah, area they're kind, in. Kind of, yeah. And we haven't seen any of that yet. Yeah. So it's, I, I bet I bet the ending's a lot. Plus, See, like, Legends of Tomorrow is usually like full of action. Well, and um, I mean, really, the only action in this one. Well, th- there was fighting. Yeah. Although you didn't take it seriously because you knew the people weren't real. Which is funny because like I I you don't take it seriously, but it's still cool. Cause it's almost like like a fight scene in Westworld. Like it looks cool. Yeah, kinda. but it doesn't matter because the people can like it doesn't really matter, you know. Yeah, like Errol just grab that arrow and pull it out of him. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, it's not real, or whatever." Oh, yeah. it was funny. It made Diggles him like a pussy because he got shot. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, it may not be real, but it hurts like a son of a bitch." And it's like, "Oh, he got shot with an arrow, pulled like basically stabbed, pulled it out of him, and didn't even bleed." And I was like, "Yeah, whatever," but he is Arrow. So he pulled himself out of himself. Oh my god, I didn't know where you were going <laughs> with that. Um. But um, Flash and Supergirl teamed up again, and that was kind of cool. Yeah, I liked their little fights. I don't know who that chick they were fighting was. I didn't recognize her at all. No, wasn't she just some person they made up? Well, but I don't. Usually, they just pick a random comic book person. Uh, but like, okay. I, I she you looked, just never heard of her. Period. Yeah, I, I didn't, didn't even see her name, so I don't know. <clears throat> but it was cool. They did that thing with Supergirl, like threw her Flash, ran back, and they came up and like punched her as she was flying at him. Th- they were actually kind of mean to her. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I think she was out when Supergirl. <laughs> yeah. Had her. Um, I don't think that other one was necessary, but I I oh, there was something I wanted to tell you, and now I can't remember. Do you do that a lot? Oh, what well, there is one thing. Oh, there's two things. I just remembered. Bam! Perfect. <coughs> well, almost. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should have remembered a little sooner. <laughs> um, last episode of the podcast, I meant to say this: the part where um, Adam, you see Adam's suit, and it's like, oh, it's the exact same suit as he had before. Yeah. Even though it just got destroyed because they just went to the West in Legends of Tomorrow, and they found. It's called Dark Star Alloy. That's what powers his suit. Mm-hmm. So that's his excuse. Oh, I got I found it so I can rebuild it. But like they were like hyping up that he's gonna build his whole new suit and like he's gonna make it different and all this stuff. And then he has the same suit. So I was assuming that they destroyed his suit. But then behind the scenes, they're like, oh shit, he needs the suit for the crossover. What's what's Adam gonna do without that? Uh. So like, oh, he he fixed it. He got it back. But then that's why Cisco's like, oh, you need to upgrade. And he's like, oh, after this, I'll get an upgrade. So I bet like the following oh. episode or when they get back from the mid season finale, Cisco will be like, Oh, I got a new suit from Cisco and that's the suit that they were planning on like sticking with. Uh, like I, I bet they just does that make sense? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. <clears throat> and my other thing is you remember when Linda Carter was in Supergirl? Yeah. She was a president. They were planning on having her be the vice president in this crossover. But then CW was like I don't know, that might get confusing to some people because she was the president on Supergirl and she's the vice president in here and like it's Cross Earth and all this stuff, so they just decided to not do it. Oh, right. Really? But that'd have been also like another. And what I thought about too is it would should be the only person that's on both Earths because more than Flash showed up, nobody he knows is on the Earth. So you assume that like that Earth has different people on it. Yeah, of course there's four billion. There'd have to be a couple that were. Yeah, but it'd it'd be weird that or like is it seven billion, whatever. I don't know, but that they they had her the same. But that'd have been kind of neat if she was like on that big crossover with everybody. Yeah. With oh. her invisible jet, it it'd be real because like they made a John Wesley ship flash. It'd be cool if they could make her like, I don't know, the, another Wonder Woman, but like something like that, you know? Yeah. See, I don't think is there more than I don't. Know. I, I don't know about anything about Wonder Woman really. Yeah. Other than Gal Gadot is gonna play her. Well, I used to watch the series when I was little. Oh really? Did you yeah. ever watch? Did you watch the '90s Flash when it was on? No. Watching it now, it's pretty shitty. Like I see why it got canceled, mm. but the good episodes are the ones with Mark Hamill. Oh, right. and there's also like a sequel one where it's called like I think it's just called like Flash Two Trials of the Trickster or whatever. But like he gets like actually arrested and there's all this shit that goes down. I I had to watch that one on YouTube because I don't. Didn't have Didn't you it. say they they bring bad guys into this, like, I crossover? I thought it was supposed to be. I, I'm guessing because they they said they brought him in in this one, but that's because they weren't really there. But I'm hoping that they do that in Legends of Tomorrow at the end because they said that they're gonna bring the villains. At least they do that in the comic for oh. Invasion. And they, uh, they, that's what they said online that they were going to do in this. Because also, yeah, like, no, they said more than 18 people will be fighting the aliens. And counting all shows, I don't think that's 18 people. No. Because well, so, like, people that fight, at least. Because uh, Flash, you just got Flash. And then Arrow, you're going to have Arrow, Guardian. Maybe Cisco's going to fight. He did have a gun. I mean, Cisco could fight, I guess. He ha- he does have those little vibe things he can do. Yeah. But like, it would make sense to bring in some of the villains. Because like I don't think that's 18 people. Where, plus, like there was a fuck ton of ships. Yeah, it was like watching Star Wars at the yeah. end. So it would make sense if they brought in like the Legion of Doom or whatever, especially because now they have the Hall of Justice. Like they could do like a little thing. Well, it just seems like they there's a lot to wrap up in this hour episode that's coming up. I I because I bet there'll be a lot of like it's not, like 
things that don't really make sense, but just like to get through, you know? Yeah. Just to kind of end it. But I, I, I wonder, because like it, for how many aliens there is, it can't just be that they beat their ass. So there's got to be like, especially because they're going to come back to Supergirl. So I bet like something has to happen where the aliens just retreat and they don't like kill all of them. Well, yeah, because I mean, maybe they like do something like to their ship, and their ship just goes away or whatever. Yeah. Um, especially if they're coming back to Supergirl, but like, oh, but and just because there's a ship, I mean, that could be a second ship that comes to Supergirl too. Yeah. Well, I guess she is on a different Earth, so it could be completely different Dominators too. Oh, for fuck's sake! (laughs) Let's not get into that. Um. So, did watching this episode make you want to watch Arrow anymore? Um, Like, did it get you interested in the characters? No, I liked them better than Flash. Oh really? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't not like them, but I. It was kind of hard to get in this episode because I don't know the characters. Like I, I like. Yeah. Like he sees his mom and dad, and and, and like his sister wants to stay there because she sees his mom and dad. I'm like, well, I don't care. I don't know who these yeah. fuckers are. So like, it's not like it's not like it was bad or anything. I just didn't know who they were. No, so. I, I, I as we were watching, I was like, oh, I don't know if he's gonna like this one. Like I didn't think you were gonna hate it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. But like, I didn't dislike it, but it, I didn't think it was a good it, splash. It, it it is a way better episode if you've seen like every season of. Oh Arrow. yeah, I'm sure. Well, like in the beginning when he gets mugged all a la Batman style. Yeah. Um, and then Diggle comes down and saves him, he, and you're like, I think that was Diggle. I'm like, well, who the fuck else would it have been? Because well, well I, I was telling not knowing that, that I thought it would be Diggle. Well, because they could have had it been like maybe there's multiple arrows, like because you just don't know like what all. Well, I just what they'll do. Didn't, in the preview before, they showed him in the yeah, costume. Yeah, well, that, that's so what I was saying. I say I'm, I'm assuming that's Diggle, unless, like... Well, that's what I mean. Like, I, not knowing anything, I'm like, oh, that's, well, who else? Yeah, but, of course. But also, like you thought, um... No, oh, I just burped a little bit. Like you thought during the episode, I was wondering if, like, each person was in their own memory. Yeah, but then, but then in the episode, I understood that they were all in the same one, so then that's when I was like, oh, well, maybe... Maybe, like, because at that point I didn't know. I so thought maybe in Diggle's memory he's Arrow, but in this memory, like, one of Arrow's old bad guys will be Arrow, and, like, I didn't know how they'd do it. That was weird that they were all in the same, like, little dream. I think it's just because they were on the pod. And, like, cause, like, yeah, no, like, no, like, I know, but, like, like, I, like, like I, when it started, it was all Arrow for, like, the first ten minutes or five minutes or whatever, mm-hmm. and then that girl did something and she, like, flashed, and I was like, oh, they're all in it. Like, yeah. Because he hadn't gone to see Diggle yet. Because so. it's not like the alien's plan was like, oh, let's give them the perfect life. It was, like Adam said, just to get information from them. Right. Which I'm assuming is information on their friends didn't learn how to take down all the metahumans. Which is weird that, they, wouldn't they take metahumans if they want information? Well, because Adam said they took us because we couldn't fight. Because I think if, like, if they would have brought Flash on there, he probably could have killed all the aliens. Or at least a lot of them, like oh. a majority of them. And like, if, if they got Flash. Or, or at least beat them in like, a race. Like, imagine if they had Flash, Firestorm, and everybody like that. Like, they would have probably destroyed everybody. I don't know. They did a pretty good job of controlling their minds, like, the episode before <laughs> that. <laughs> that. That is true. Okay. So I don't really. Um, But yeah, I. Like I said, I haven't finished the comic because it, it's a. I'm reading it very slowly because it's pretty bad. <laughs> wow. Like there, there's interesting parts, but I don't know. It's it's not that great of a comic. But I think it's partly because it's like, just I don't like reading the the aliens parts of them talking because like they did a good thing in the show. Like when they talk, like you don't know what they show them briefly, and then they go to the other people. Yeah, they walk weird as fuck. <laughs> they too. do. Yeah. I'm like, can't you do something about that? And I mean, as it appears in the show, it, it seems like it's just dominators. Like they don't have any like friends with them like how they do in the comics either oh because i was wondering if they're going to show that on the ship because like in the comic on the ship they show like 15 other races and like they're talking through computer screens and all kinds of stuff to each other oh yeah that sounds, like, that sounds horrible actually. N- none of that happened down here yeah like imagine re- like the first book i think it's like a hundred something pages and all it is is aliens talking to each other about how they're going to take down planets and the only superior interactions in it is like like the d level characters that like no one's ever heard of mm-hmm Sounds interesting. Like I, it it, just, it wasn't that great. And then finally, the second book, Superman and like some other people got involved. Uh, what was he just like waiting around? Sup- Superman is actually. I was wondering if they're gonna do Superman's actually. If you flip to the ship and talk to them, they had a peace treaty in the comic. They had twenty four hour peace treaty, and like they said, they're gonna get all the metahumans for the aliens, but they didn't. They end up they're gonna fight them. Oh, so they lied. Yeah, Superman lied to people. He's a big fat liar. Wow. Uh, Superman's fat too. Yeah. Do you think in their next crossover they'll have, like, Superman and stuff like that in it? Like, do you think they'll bring over, like, Martian Manhunter and everybody else? Or do you think they're just going to stick to the main people? I mean, I don't know. Because they seem to try to one-up themselves every time. Well, then, then, Because the the first crossover, it was two separate stories, 
I mean, they said it connected, but ba- very little was connected with like Flash and Arrow, you know. Right. And then the second one, it was it set up a whole other show, so it was connected. Then this one, it's four nights, like a giant story. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do though? I mean, you can. Uh, I mean, there's so they many. Do, they're gonna do eight nights. No, eight crazy oh, they, nights. They could do two weeks worth of stories. Like, yeah. I guess this was like hell for them to film too, because like as they were filming these, they were still filming their individual episodes. Yeah, I bet. Be and like ass. all kinds of shit. I mean, but it's been cool so far. I, I, Supergirls was a little lackluster, and then yeah, you get to see I'm hoping them. next year that the like if they call it a, like maybe in the next year they do a legit Fortnite crossover, like have the story start on Supergirl and yeah. actually be because that would have been that would have been a lot more fun. I think if it was Fortnite, I mean it already is super cool. See, that's why they need her to be on their Earth, because, like, Arrow could come over. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm saying, is, like, because they hear stories like that. I know. But, like, th- they said that they're, they're planning on doing that next season, if they're going to do it at all. Yeah. Oh, I, did you catch, because I didn't catch it, I mean, I've heard them talk, like, behind the scenes, but in the previously on, they show Flash, and I also, when I watched what Taylor I saw, uh, um, oh, my God, Cisco lost his name for a second. He says that Supergirl's on Earth-38, so, like, they actually named her Earth. Oh, yeah, I remember him saying Yeah, he's that. like, oh, yeah, we found her on Earth-38. That's where you were. Yeah, and I was like, Jesus Christ. I guess, like, but What? And what? Oh, Harrison Wells is 19, right? Yeah, Earth-19. Because well, there's infinite numbers. I'm waiting for them to go to, like, Earth-900 like or something. That's just retarded. There is, I wonder if they'll do it, because in the comics, Earth-3 is a crime syndicate. Like, every single superhero is a bad guy. What still has that our Westworld theory is that they're on Westworld 2, but they're showing William on Westworld 1. Oh, my God. <laughs> he would hate that. Imagine if, like, the end of Westworld is, like, the end of Fight Club, or, like, it was all in, like, William's mind or something, something like sitting there, or d- it's all in Dr. Ford's mind. That'd be hilarious. It would piss him off so much. I wouldn't like it, but it would be funny just to see Hess's reaction. <laughs> yeah, especially because he's going to watch it live with us. Yeah. Uh, So, for this crossover, have you, like, before it was on, and then now your thoughts on it, Have do you like it more or less than you thought you would? Um, well, I was excited to watch it. I was even excited to watch Supergirl Monday, and then I was a little let down. By I, I was disappointed by Supergirl, but before, like, as it was leading up to it, I was like, okay, they're most likely not going to have Flash. We even talked about not doing a podcast on Supergirl because it was only be like two seconds of. But footage. then you had mentioned it like on forty-two different different levels, so we figured. Well, because we we, we talked about it before, but then we did yeah. the podcast, so we decided. Well, and then and then I really enjoyed Flash. Yeah, and then this episode was okay. So like, I have hopes that tomorrow's will be. Really good. I think tomorrow's will probably be like the best for action. Yeah, I hope it'll be Legend of Tomorrow. Oh my god! I thought you were gonna say Legend. Wait for it, Dairy. Tomorrow? No. Yeah. I do. No, I, I mean I don't know. It it's 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 good, but I like I think this Arrow episode was different. Yeah, like, like it was. I think I think Supergirls they, didn't count. Flashes was a, a little more action, and this was like more of a drama like episode. Yeah, but I mean that's kind of like Flash is a lot like. Like science stuff for show, Arrow is more of a drama. And Legends is more of like a time travel action, kind of more like Flash, like sci-fi kind of. Yeah, but Arrow is usually more of a drama like that. There's like there's fight scenes in Arrow, but like yeah, not which, as many which is fine. Shows. I mean, but it's it's not what I expect. I don't know. Yeah, I I can see that. Yeah, um, I really do hope that they bring the villains in in the last one, like at least a couple, especially because like I think this is up. They think apparently not Destro because he's a pussy. <laughs> Well, I mean, in the real show, he's he's good, but like in a is he dead in the real show? Uh, I don't. He's not dead, but I don't think the character is allowed to come back. Oh, because he like beat the shit out of someone or something. Yeah, I mean like, that's uh, allegedly, but some people say he didn't. Some people said he did. What did the cops say? I don't know. I mean, he's on another show on MTV and goes to Comic Con. Oh, MTV still. MTV will hire anybody. That's true. We should try to get a job at MTV. Me. No, the other guy doing the podcast with me, the Invisible Dude in the chair over there. Yeah, uh, I don't think they hire him. Why? Because he's invisible? Yeah. It'd be hard to get on film. God, you're such a penis. So have you decided if you're going to watch Arrow? Nope. You haven't, how, how long is it of a decision does it take you? How long is a decision does it take you? That didn't make any <laughs> sense. How long does it take you to make a decision to watch a show? Well, it doesn't. I'm not going to watch it until at least the shit's on break. Cause I got shit, I got well, shit It's on break watch. after next week, so. Okay. Oh, but what I was getting at, so and then maybe, you maybe, maybe interrupted me. This is like very I really interrupted you. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I was saying something. You said something. Then I said something. Yeah, I know how this works. Get <laughs> 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 retarded. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh my oh, god! I, I, I got it. I got it. Um, I might be a little tired. Um, rough day. I think they said on 
that it's either episode eight or nine of Legends that they're going to bring back Captain Cole, and like that's when they'll do the official Legion of Doom. Which if it's eight, that'll be next episode. So it would be cool if they like because of the aliens invasion. That's how they bring the Legion of Doom together. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I want to see the Hall of Justice again too. It was yeah, I, mean, I got to see it was Arrow's backyard. I thought you were going to say like somebody Arrow's butthole or something. You know how you talk. I don't talk about Arrow's butthole. You always talk about Arrow's butthole. Nope. Um, so I'm trying to. Think, what else? Did we miss anything? Because I feel like every time we do this, by the end of the podcast, like I'm editing and I'm like, oh, I wanted to say that, and then sometimes I think about like plugging back in the mic and like <laughs> saying something and just throwing it in the podcast, even though you have no answer, just because I wanted to say it. Wow, really? You thought that? Well, like once or twice, maybe three wow. times. Three times. <laughs> Maybe I can't. Th- it, I don't think we missed anything. I think we covered it pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Have you? Have you? Are you? Have you, have you do you think you're gonna get ever? Oh my god, I can't talk. Are you ever going to get caught up on Legends? You've only seen the first two episodes of like the I actual show. Didn't like it that much. The the first two episodes are <laughs> real good. The rest of the season not that great. And season so two is great. If I watched the first two and didn't like it much, why the fuck would I watch the rest of it? I don't think you give it a chance. You're probably like, doing apps on your phone or something. I wasn't doing apps on my phone. Oh, you remember now? I didn't not remember before. <laughs> I think I think you should just start watching. You should watch the first episode of season two, and if you like that... Then, then go back and watch the other? Then get caught up, yeah. That sounds like a stupid idea. No, I can't, no next next week. Yeah, no, tomorrow. No. <laughs> tomorrow night, if you like the Legends of Tomorrow episode... I think you should watch at least the third episode. I'm going to like it. It's going to have Flash and other people. I right? know. That's not... Oh, that sp- doesn't count. Spoilers, Flash isn't in the first season at all. But Arrow is, like, episode six. He shows up as, like, old man Arrow. And there's... Oh, you can see he have, like, a gay beard on or something? He has a big white beard. He's got one arm. Diggle's son's in it. He's Green Arrow. It's a fun time. Deathstroke's son's in it. He's the bad guy. It sounds like it's going to... there be spoilers on Arrow, so I shouldn't watch it. No, because that that got erased, but then because of Flashpoint, now they could stop. Okay, that's happened. enough. I don't want to know all that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, it confused some people with that shit. Because like, they're like, oh, Diggle's son. Wait, but Diggle has a girl. Because this was like before Barry fucked up shit. Uh, well, at least they were thinking ahead. Or maybe they just changed that when they deflected. Like, oh, we can fix our mistake. Maybe. But I don't know. It was weird, too, is the, the guy in Les of Tomorrow, he calls himself Connor Hawk. But his name's John, John Diggle Jr., so, because, like, Connor Hawk is the guy who takes over for Green Arrow in the future. Uh-huh. But, like, why would you, like, how do you pick the name Connor Hawk all of a sudden? Like, where did that come in? Maybe his middle name is Connor and he loves Hawks. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't even know who he is. He's Dill's son, I just said. Does he look like his daughter? I mean, no. Oh, right. He doesn't really even look like Diggle. He's just a... He doesn't look like Diggle? He's just a young black guy. You're a young black guy. Maybe. People don't know. I I was gonna say people don't know what I look like, but my picture is literally on the thing on YouTube. Yep, under Jerome. If you didn't know, uh, you you know, think some people listen to this podcast and think like maybe I'm Hess and like you're Jerome and Hess is Nick. I doubt it. Maybe. Well, well I mean, how would they know for sure? Because we say I'm Hess, I'm Nick, I'm Jer- but like, how do they know which one's which? Like how we look like? Oh, because the voices and the matches the name. Yeah, and you know, the name's <laughs> yeah. The fucking. I'm retarded. I just asked a question and explained it to myself and didn't understand it. All right, I think that's. I think good. that might be time to end the podcast. Wow. Um, I do want to remind people, and by remind I mean tell you, because I don't know if you listen to Westworld, come listen to this. Anyways, on Sunday night, if you watch Westworld, right after Westworld, you should come check out our YouTube channel. We'll be doing a live podcast. It's like talking Westworld, except we don't have a cool guy talking about it. We just have us. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. We don't have. I'm. A, what is this guy's name now? I forgot. That's why I said cool guy. Uh what's his name? He's on every. He has oh, at midnight. It's John Jacob Jingle. No, I, oh my God, it's really going to bug me. I can't think of his name. His name is mine. Anyways, too. thanks for listening to the podcast. The audio version and the video version of the podcast will be in the description. Come back tomorrow for part four, the finale. Don't you follow him on Twitter? Yep. Chris Hardwick. <laughs> there we Bam, go. Bam, <laughs> that's his name. I don't know why Twitter made me think of his name. <laughs> I don't know either. Anyways. I don't know why I made you yell either. Well, I, I was excited. I thought of his name. Uh, well, okay, talk with your hands. I'm gonna talk with your. Never mind. I almost said your penis. Uh, I just did, you know what I hate? Sometimes you're like, well, I almost. It's like you know, someone's like almost says something and then they stop, but then they tell you what they said. That's no, stu- just you do that. That's like, oh, I was almost gonna say that I had sex with your mother, but like you still said it, so like it's still just as weird. 
You had sex with your grandmother? <laughs> no, I was using that as an example. Oh, but you know what I mean? That was it, a horrible it, example. Isn't that weird when people do that? You're the only one who does that. No, people, other people do that. I've name seen that. one. Me. No, I, I, I've, I've <laughs> seen. I've name seen two. I've seen. I, I can't remember their names. I can barely remember Chris Hardwick's name. Or like, good, good point. I almost said Oscar, but I meant Cisco. Okay. So thanks for listening. <laughs> thanks for listening to the podcast. I don't remember the stuff I've said before about it, but links in the description. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow and Legends of Tomorrow. And then we'll talk to uh, you. That's Sunday. a lot of tomorrows. We'll talk to you Sunday for Westworld. Then we'll, we'll talk we'll to get you. Has, we'll get talk to you naked. next Tuesday for Flash, and you don't need to know that far ahead. Oh, okay, yeah. Did you get confused for a second? No, I said we'll get Hess naked on Sunday. Oh yeah. If you guys, if this video gets twelve likes, Hess will flash his testicles live on the podcast and this is also a test to see if he's listening even though i know he's not not at this point so yeah he might have listened in the beginning maybe but yeah he didn't get this far no but yeah it gets 12 I don't likes think i'll get this 12 far. likes will flash has his testicles on the live on the podcast how are we gonna do that we'll do it on facebook <laughs> what <laughs> we'll live stream on facebook and show his testicles i don't, I don't know you can do that on facebook either we don't care if our plate of facebook is taken down let's make a new one anyways we gotta end before we say something else bad Thanks for listening to the podcast. <laughs> I think I've said thanks for listening at least six times now, but one more time, thanks for listening. Oh my god! See you guys. We won't see you. We'll hear. You. We won't hear you either. <laughs> you can hear us tomorrow. Just say goodbye for fuck's sake. <laughs> Bye. Hear you. Hear you tomorrow. Just end it. Fuck. <laughs>